In the historical timeline, Iran has left a remarkable imprint as a nation adept in the art of reverse engineering. This competence has been prominently showcased in the realm of military technology, where Iran has exhibited an extraordinary knack to dissect, study and reproduce some of the most cutting-edge technologies of our age. The journey embarked in full swing during the Iran-Iraq War in the early 1980s. Struggling against a crippling international arms embargo, Iran was compelled to turn inwards and utilize what they had at hand. The nation started reverse engineering an array of military equipment, including tanks, missiles and fighter. This signaled the commencement of a lengthy voyage of technological adaptation spanning across several decades. Command, absolutely. Let's dive deeper into each component. 1. Asterisk, asterisk. Military technology, asterisk, asterisk. Iran's defense industry has encountered hurdles due to international sanctions, particularly during the Iran-Iraq war in the 1980s and post the Iranian revolution in 1979. To combat these obstacles, Iran turned to reverse engineering to strengthen its military prowess. For instance, Iran's creation of the Shahed 129 UAV, which bears resemblance to the American MQ-1 Predator, is widely believed to involve reverse engineering. In a similar vein, Iran's manufacture of ballistic missiles, such as the Shahab series, has been accredited to reverse engineering of foreign missile technology, specifically from North Korea and China. 2. Asterisk, asterisk, nuclear program, asterisk, asterisk. Iran's nuclear program has been a topic of global concern and dispute. While Iran maintains its nuclear activities are for peaceful objectives, such as power generation and medical research, Western powers and certain international organizations have expressed apprehensions about probable military dimensions. Iran's reverse engineering in this area have concentrated on procuring and adapting technologies related to uranium enrichment, centrifuge technology and reactor design. The Natanz and Fordow enrichment plants are crucial elements of Iran's nuclear program which reportedly involve reverse-engineered centrifuges. 3. Asterisk, asterisk, aerospace, asterisk, asterisk. Iran's aerospace industry has witnessed remarkable development through reverse engineering, particularly in the domain of aircraft and missile technology. For example, the HESA, Iran Aircraft Manufacturing Industrial Company, has developed several aircraft models, including the Sayake and Azaraksh fighter jets, which are believed to be based on reverse-engineered designs of American and Russian aircraft. Iran has also reverse-engineered missile systems, such as the FATE series of tactical ballistic missiles, which are derived from Chinese and North Korean designs. 4. Asterisk, asterisk, electronics and consumer goods, asterisk, asterisk. Iran's automotive industry is another area where reverse engineering has been prevalent. Owing to sanctions and restrictions on importing foreign cars and components, Iran has reverse-engineered automobiles and produced domestically manufactured vehicles under brands like Iran Kodro and Saipa. Moreover, in the electronics sector, Iran has reverse-engineered products such as smartphones and tablets to develop locally made alternatives as evidenced in brands like Hamrahe, Aval and Iran Cell. 5. Asterisk Asterisk Software and IT Asterisk Asterisk in the sphere of software and IT, Iran has leveraged reverse engineering to develop localized software solutions and digital products. This includes adapting foreign software to the Persian language and cultural context, as well as reverse engineering proprietary software to create open source alternatives. Domestic IT industry has experienced growth in fields such as mobile applications, e-commerce platforms and software development services, often based on reverse engineered technologies. In conclusion, reverse engineering has been a critical factor in Iran's technological advancement across diverse sectors, empowering the country to withstand sanctions and develop indigenous capabilities. However, it has also sparked concerns pertaining to intellectual property rights, proliferation of sensitive technologies and international security implications. As we delve deeper into Iran's journey, we see that reverse engineering has not just been confined to the military sphere, but has permeated various sectors, Let's explore how Iran has utilized reverse engineering in different domains. 1. Faced with international sanctions, Iran turned to reverse engineering to fortify its defense capabilities. The creation of the Shahed 129 UAV, similar to the American MQ-1 Predator, and the manufacture of ballistic missiles, including the Shahab series, are believed to involve reverse engineering of foreign technologies.
One, Iran's controversial nuclear program has seen reverse engineering focused on technologies related to uranium enrichment, centrifuge technology and reactor design. The Natanz and Fordow enrichment plants are prime examples of this, reportedly housing reverse engineered centrifuges. 1. The development of the aerospace industry in Iran, specifically aircraft and missile technology, has been significantly influenced by reverse engineering. The HESA has developed aircraft models like the Saike and Azaraksh fighter jets, believed to be based on reverse engineered designs of American and Russian aircraft. 1. With sanctions restricting the import of foreign cars and components, Iran has reverse-engineered automobiles, resulting in domestically manufactured vehicles under brands like Iran Cadro and Saipa. In the electronics sector, Iran has developed locally made alternatives to products like smartphones and tablets. 1. Iran has leveraged reverse engineering to develop localized software solutions and digital products. This includes adapting foreign software to the Persian language and cultural context, and reverse engineering proprietary software to create open source alternatives. While reverse engineering has been a critical factor in Iran's technological advancement, it has also sparked concerns about intellectual property rights, proliferation of sensitive technologies, and international security implications. From military hardware to consumer goods, Iran's use of reverse engineering has indeed been diversified. Our exploration of Iran's diverse application of reverse engineering takes us into the realm of pharmaceuticals and biotechnology. Faced with restrictions on importing certain drugs and medical equipment, Iran has turned these challenges into opportunities. Through reverse engineering, they have managed to replicate pharmaceutical products and medical devices, ensuring their availability to the local population. Iran's efforts have not stopped at the replication of existing drugs, They've gone a step further, reverse engineering biotechnological processes and technologies to create vaccines, diagnostic kits and therapeutic agents indigenously. This has been instrumental in enhancing Iran's self-sufficiency in healthcare and reducing dependency on foreign imports. Despite the many ethical and legal debates surrounding reverse engineering in pharmaceuticals and biotechnology, there's no denying that Iran's strides in this field are noteworthy. This sector vividly illustrates how reverse engineering can be a powerful tool for innovation and adaptation when circumstances demand it. As we move forward, let's delve into how Iran has applied this method to another technological marvel, drones. Now let's take a detour from the industrial sector and venture into the world of academia and scientific research. Reverse engineering is not limited to tangible products and military hardware alone. It has found a significant place in academic circles and scientific research in Iran. Iranian researchers and scientists have ingeniously used reverse engineering as a tool to dissect, understand and replicate scientific discoveries and technological advancements made elsewhere. This approach has provided them with a unique perspective and understanding of these advancements, enabling them to leverage existing knowledge and adapt it to Iran's specific needs and conditions. From understanding complex biochemical processes to replicating innovative technological applications, reverse engineering has been instrumental in propelling Iran's scientific research forward. But how does this translate into practical applications? Let's find out in our next segment, focusing on Iran's advancements in drone technology. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of reverse engineering, it's crucial to address the elephant in the room, the legal and ethical considerations that come with it. Although a powerful tool for technological advancement, reverse engineering can pose significant challenges when it comes to intellectual property rights. The line between inspiration and infringement can often blur as reverse engineering may involve unauthorized reproduction of patented technologies or copyrighted materials. In Iran's case, this becomes even more complex given the dual-use nature of many technologies. Reverse engineering sensitive technologies such as drones or other military hardware can potentially lead to international proliferation risks and diplomatic tensions. These ethical dilemmas aren't just theoretical, they have real-world implications influencing international relations and shaping the future of technological development and innovation. So, while reverse engineering has been instrumental in propelling Iran's rapid technological growth, 
It also raises critical questions about the balance between innovation and respect for intellectual property rights. As we move on to our next segment, let's explore how Iran has navigated these challenges in one of the most sensitive and rapidly advancing fields of technology drones. In the wake of every technological leap, there's a ripple effect that reaches far beyond just the new inventions and systems. This is especially true for Iran's journey with reverse engineering. As the nation navigates the complex, legal and ethical maze, it's also cultivating a new generation of skilled professionals who are adept at deconstructing, understanding and reconstructing technology. Universities and technical institutes in Iran have recognized the value of reverse engineering as a tool for learning and innovation. They offer dedicated courses and programs in this field, equipping their students with the knowledge and tools to analyze, replicate and innovate based on existing technologies, from understanding the intricate workings of a drone to dissecting the complex coding of software. These programs are providing hands-on experience and fostering a culture of curiosity and problem solving. This focus on skill development is not just about reproducing technologies, but also about understanding their underlying principles and applying them in new innovative ways. As a result, reverse engineering is not only propelling Iran's technological advancements but also helping to shape a new generation of innovators and entrepreneurs. These skilled professionals are the backbone of Iran's technology sector, driving its growth and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. As we move on to our next segment, we'll delve into one of the most significant areas of Iran's reverse engineering efforts, drone technology. In the grand scheme of Iran's technological landscape, the influence of reverse engineering is unmistakable. It's a driving force behind innovations in defense, aerospace, cybersecurity, healthcare and academic research. But while it's a potent tool for self-reliance and advancement, it's not without its challenges. Intellectual property rights pose a significant hurdle. When does inspiration and understanding become infringement? This is a question that Iran, like many nations leveraging reverse engineering, must grapple with. International relations also come into play. Reverse engineering foreign technology can strain diplomatic ties, especially when it involves sensitive or proprietary technology. Moreover, ethical considerations cannot be overlooked. Is it right to replicate a technology without the creator's permission? Is it ethical to use reverse engineering for military applications? These are complex questions with no easy answers. Balancing the benefits and risks of reverse engineering is a delicate act. It requires thoughtful policy making, robust legal frameworks and a commitment to ethical standards. But as Iran continues to navigate this complex landscape, one thing is clear. Reverse engineering, with all its challenges and opportunities, is undeniably shaping the nation's future. As we transition into our next segment, we delve into how these challenges are met head-on in one of the most significant areas of Iran's reverse engineering efforts, drone technology. The next significant milestone came at the turn of the century. In the year 2000, Iran unveiled the Mohaja, its first domestically built drone. The Mohaja was a product of reverse engineering efforts on captured or purchased drones, setting the stage for Iran's future endeavors in this field. In 2011, Iran made global headlines when it claimed to have captured an American RQ-170 Sentinel drone. Despite skepticism, Iran went on to display a domestically produced drone in 2014 dubbed the Saigir, bearing striking similarities to the captured RQ-170. This was a clear demonstration of Iran's growing prowess in reverse engineering. But Iran's reverse engineering efforts are not limited to the military sphere. The country has also shown remarkable adaptability in the field of software development. Iranian developers have been known to reverse engineer popular software applications, creating localized versions tailored to meet the unique needs of their market. In the most recent development, Iran is reportedly collaborating with Russia to reverse engineer US-made Javelin anti-tank weapons. This marks a new chapter in Iran's reverse engineering story, indicating a shift towards collaborative efforts with other nations. Looking back, Iran's journey of reverse engineering has been a testament to its resourcefulness and resilience in the face of adversity. From the early days of the Iran-Iraq war to the present day, Iran has consistently turned to reverse engineering as a means of circumventing international sanctions and meeting its technological needs. In summary, Iran's history of reverse engineering is a fascinating tale of innovation and adaptation. 
The country has repeatedly demonstrated its ability to dissect, understand and recreate complex technologies often under challenging circumstances. Whether it's military hardware or software applications, Iran's reverse engineering efforts have proven to be a crucial aspect of its technological development. As we look to the future, it's clear that reverse engineering will continue to play a key role in Iran's technological journey.